Hey y'all, Francis here, and I did something. I don't know if I regret it or not, but it's done, so I figured I would share it with you guys. I went into 2023 with a plan to limit what I'm purchasing. I was going to try and do a no spend, but I know that's not reasonable for me. So I gave myself a $20 a month limit. And I made it approximately 16 days before I completely blew that out of the water um, because of Timu. I feel like I'm not saying that right. I'm saying it different in my head, but it's not coming out through my mouth the same way. So, you know, call it whatever you want to call it. I bought a bunch of stuff from them. And when I say a bunch, I mean a ridiculous amount of stuff. Um going to try to empty this without giving away all of my nailing secrets just to show you what I did. Oh boy. That is one bag. This is Sorry for the crinkles. The second bag. And the third bag. What's that? I only made two orders. Quote unquote only made. Um, it came really quickly considering the amount of stuff that I got. It's not like AliExpress and Wish where you get, you order 10 things and you get one thing every two months. They came, I made two orders. The first order was split in half and the third order um, was much smaller and it came all in one. And really, I think I ordered on like the 16th or 17th and I had all three packages by like the 27th. So that's a pretty good turnaround, especially considering the amount of stuff that I got. So I'm going to organize this stuff a little bit, kind of group it, just because, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to be able to show you, but I'm going to try and go through it as well as I can. Um, so I'm going to separate, kind of group things together so it maybe will go a little bit better, and I'll be back. All right, jumping right into it. We've got some, looks like washi stickers here. Super cute. Looks like they're in doubles. And then I think these are just going to be, yep, they're just green. Love the colors. Kind of the same deal. I kind of like it when they come in the little boxes like that, because these I'm going to have to take out and find somewhere else for them to live. But that's okay. Oops, there we go. Alone at the top of Texas. So these just look like little newspaper articles. That's pretty neat. There's a ton of them there too. The prices that they've got on there are absolutely fantastic. Otherwise I wouldn't have got half of what I did. <laughs> Most of it was a dollar or less. Maybe a few of them went up to a couple dollars. Maybe. Most of it was under two dollars each. Um, I did, there's a lot of stuff that's sold out when you go in and you, as soon as you see it, you know, you have your coat, your cart loaded up, you kind of need to start working towards checking out because things do tend to sell out pretty quickly. That's cute. But, I mean, obviously there's plenty, so. Like, I've already reloaded another cart. I haven't gone through with it yet, but several things in the cart have sold out. So, you know, if it's something you really, really like, I would do it quickly. Just so you don't miss out. I've got these, I guess, firework little, oops. Um, paper strips. I like that for collaging. I think 
think I might already have this from something else, but that's okay. Paper dolls. Those are cute. Don't so much. That's not really my vibe. The little like doll stuff, but that's okay. Not everything is for everybody. These all look like stickers, whether they be washi stickers or just normal stickers, so that's nice. just kind of look like a deposit slip. Postcards. I have to put that away in a second or we will be here all day. If these are the same. Oh, nope, they're not. Of course they're not. of washi stickers and some normal just paper This all seems to just be paper, which is perfectly fine. If there's anything that you guys are seeing that you want to see more carefully or want like a product number of, let me know and I will try and share it. Like I said a little bit ago, things tend to sell out fast. Um, so it may not be that they have the exact one, but maybe there's, you know, another similar thing that you like. Uh, 
that's just paper. Kind of looks like a washi sticker, but it feels like paper. It looks like paper from the back. Maybe it's just like a vellum. Ooh, we've got some stamps. That's really cool. Little punch outs. Love that. I don't like how that's shiny. I mean, it's fine. I just prefer things to be matte. Also, I kind of want to cut out those little stamps. I just found the. Is it like a glassine envelope? Vellum envelope? I don't know. I really like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Getting over some stuff and haven't really talked that much since I got it. So I didn't realize that my voice was going to be scratchy, but that's okay. Oh, here we've got some plasticky, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, acetate. That would look kind of cool over that. Like that. Some rough edge paper, maybe. I was going to say ledger, but I don't think that's ledger. Oh, there's a whole lot more here I missed. Oh, wow. Little tags. That is too cute. This is probably one that cost over a couple dollars, but... I mean, look at all this stuff that came in it. It's worth it, in my opinion. Some washi stickers. Super cute. I'm going to put this away. We've got another one. Look at those big kits. Now, one thing that I was kind of thinking of as I'm shopping around all of these different stores that they've got is a, oh, more of those layover acetate things, is, um, did these, were these created for another, or by another artist, and these were, however they do it, I don't want to they stolen I don't know I don't know how it works but I tried to be conscious of that obviously I don't know every creator and what every creator has ever made um but if I recognized something that belonged to another artist another company I tried to stay away from that so if I bought anything from someone who wasn't the original creator of it I apologize um and it would actually be kind of good to know if I did, because then I won't, I won't use their stuff, because that's not okay to be taking stuff from, you know, the original artists. But I'm not perfect, so please feel free to let me know if you know, if you recognize something from someone's set of papers or whatever. I seem to notice that more with like the stamps, um, that kind of thing. Not so much with the paper, but I also don't really, I don't really buy a lot of like stamps and stuff from places like this just because it's, it's so touch and go and like the paper, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to say it in a respectful way, so I'm just not going to say anything, but just know if I have purchased anything here that was created by another artist, you know. I didn't mean to. Ooh, 
Ooh, and here we've got postcards. They're glossy, which I don't love, but that's okay. I'll get over it, because look how cool these are. Backs. Oh, and they've even got printing on the back. That's fun, and I don't think I was in frame for any of that. I'm sorry. Another look at the front in case I was showing nobody. Grab the next set. Okay, we've got some tiny ladies here. Stickers. Love it. I don't know how much you can see of it when it's on the desk. Let me zoom in. Kind of get a little bit better idea. Pretty cool. Then we've got these gentlemen and I am in way too close. Let me, there we go. I have a lot of ladies, but I don't have many gentlemen, so I'm excited to add those to my bundle of people. And then, I don't know what kind of paper this is. Let's see. Looks like vellum. That's pretty cool. That'll look neat over something, laid over something. And wouldn't you know, I don't have anything that I can use as, as, as an example quickly <laughs> just to slide under it, but that's neat. Just little strips. Those just feel like paper. As opposed to stickers. So that's kind of cool. are just paper strips. It's just a set of this. It's all the same image. I'm gonna have to take this off. Oh, that's fun. Did I purchase all of the same ones? I don't know. No. These ones look like maybe planets. I tried to get all of this hard packaging off before I started filming, but I guess I missed this bundle. Whoops. Different phases of the moon, something like that. Super neat.
And then we got some frames. I don't like it because they're so shiny. Hopefully you can see them well enough. But that is neat. It's like all postage. Got some tags, boarding pass, travel journal. That's pretty fun. stuck together. I'm not going to mess with that now. I'm going to put these away real quick. Okay, we've got some stickers here now. I love these because they have more of a matte finish. I love that. And I love this. And I love this. Lovely batch of stickers here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. So pretty. Then kind of gathered like with like, so maybe the style isn't the same, but we've got a bunch of stamps. They look like stickers, I'm not really seeing so much. They feel like washi stickers, but let's see. No, that's not. Well, I don't know. It has kind of a plasticky feel to it. I like it. And yet this one has more of like a paper feel. So I don't know. That's kind of cool. So just kind of oversized stamps. I found some people on eBay that sell like actual real stamps, used stamps. But I could definitely see how these would be interesting to add. Simple but pretty. I bet those will look nice in a cluster. And then I either bought these twice or bought them in separate. Like I either added two to my cart or I bought them one in each of my two orders. I don't know. Alice in Wonderland.
Well, I can't say if I actually have an emotion towards Alice in Wonderland. I didn't watch it when I was little. It scared me. Um, so I don't know if I ever watched it in its entirety, but the imaging is very pretty. Is that something that has a copyright to it? I don't know. This is one of the questionable items that I came across. So maybe it's something that I shouldn't have bought. I don't know how that how it works. I'm guessing it's not from the creators of Alice in Wonderland. Is that Disney? See, I don't even know. That's how little I was into Alice in Wonderland. I know there have been several kind of remakes of it, but I don't know. I haven't watched them. Then we've got some maybe potion labels, kind of Halloween-y maybe, I'm guessing. Death potion. Oh, I bought two of those too. I guess I like the way that they looked on the website. This one, I know I probably bought two in one order, but I'm guessing <laughs> I uh, liked it so much I forgot that I already bought two of them. Or maybe I only bought one and then in my second order I bought two. I don't know. I doubt I would have bought three, but whatever. It's fine. They're just tickets. So we've got some concert tickets, some sports tickets, travel tickets, movie tickets. So that's fun. And I've got a lot of them now. I guess when I like something, I like something. Got some date stickers. I remember I almost bought two of these. So I'm guessing, yeah, these are just washy. But I think they're kind of year based. Not that it really matters. No one's going to look at that. Guessing it's probably for a planner, but maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter. It's not year based. Those are fun. I've got them for each month. We have some bird stickers. Super cute. Looks like there are doubles of each. These are definitely going to need to go in something else because they are all bent up. Are these stickers or just paper? I think they're stickers. What does the box say? Yes, stickers. 
See, like that's all kind of messed up. Not the end of the world. When you pay a couple dollars for something, I mean, you can't be too upset. Although, that's pretty messed up. It'll flatten out to a certain extent, but you may be able to tell that they're all kind of jacked up a little bit. Looks like we've got some more stamps here. Pretty neutral, but I like them. I have some music playing in the background as I'm cleaning up in between batches. And I have it like a Roku stick and it'll time out and then I'll lose it. I have to go back and search for it again. So I have to periodically stop and hit play just so I don't lose my song. Right now it looks like we've got some Judds coming up next. I don't know when I started liking country music again. Uh, but like specifically 80s country, I guess that's what I grew up with. So that's where I kind of go back to. I don't know. It's just been nice to kind of hear all of those old songs again. What do they say about people with anxiety? You tend to watch the same movies over and over again just because it's predictable and you know what's going to happen. Maybe that's the same with music. I definitely know that I kind of grew up, you know, late 90s, and my music taste then was definitely more towards heavy rock, heavy metal. I listened to a lot of Korn, a lot of, you know, Marilyn Manson, that whole vibe, and that's kind of where I fell back into for a while, but get kind of tired of it all over again, so I've made my way back to country music. Sometimes you just get tired of hearing about violent, awful, horrible things, and you just need something simple. So maybe I'm in my simple, my simple era again. I don't know. Those are really neat. Did I already open something like these? I think I did. I think that I did, and I just forgot to group this box with those. I remember the green and the red boxes. And then, I'm guessing these will just be a butterfly option. Oh, animals. Got a fox and some deer and... Is that a whale? Some flutterbys. Some birdies. Love these. They're already kind of a collage. That's fun. Oh, and then we've got some planets, some astrology kind of looking thingies. That's fun. I'm going to get this picked up and I'll move on to the next batch. All right. And we are back with another batch. I went and I had to have a little bit of a lunch break. And I walked back in here and I saw my little stack to the side. I'm like, oh, we're almost done. And then I looked at my desk and I said, oh, oh no, we're not. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully you're enjoying this. That's 
fun. It's weird how some of them are upside down and some of them are not. <clears throat> That's really cool. Little ticket moment. Can't get them back in the thing. Then we've got, these may just be, are these stickers? Whatever that word is. And then it says, may the world be more gentle and may you be less sad. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep that. Oh, I love it. Uh, when you need to read some packaging to feel better about yourself. We've got some doubles. This is very much about being happy. Flowers made you smile. Don't be sad. What else do we have here? I just couldn't live in a world where you don't exist. It's a little price tag. The soul cannot live without love. Made you smile. I just want to face today. Forget about the woes of yesterday. <clears throat> Precious things are very few in this world. Oh, that's cute. Aw. We can't judge a person by what he says, but what he does. Well, that's cute. I wasn't expecting to find that in that little bag. Little pick me up. We've just got some tags. These look fun. <clears throat> A few different options. And these are washi tat washi tickets, excuse me. Let's see what this message says. Another thing of tags or barcodes, whatever. I really want to see if this one also says stuff all over it. One meets, one meets its destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Okay. <laughs> 
chocolate chip cookies are red, chocolate chip cookies are blue, chocolate chip cookies are sweet, so are you. Oh, it's reading poetry. <laughs> How funny is that? Cool how they've got that little bit of foiling on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Didn't realize I was going to be all choky in this video. Just a bunch of different little number labels. It's paper as opposed to a sticker. Nice. These, I actually got th four sets. Um, the green is, I think, standing out as my favorite. Looks like these are sports. These are maybe movie tickets or tickets to things. More tickets. So maybe these two are similar and I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, those aren't even the thing. Huh. Just various tickets. Most of them are paper. Well, a good share of them are paper and some are washi. Like these are definitely stickers. And then the others are just tape or paper. Now the real question is, why did I think this was legitimately what the thing was? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that we need to open all of these. I may just see what it looks like. Yeah, I got your little bingo card. Probably a lot of the same. I just like the color options, so I don't I don't really care that they're basically duplicative. 
I, I was after the color more than what it was actually. What the tickets have on them. I don't really care about that. Joey Defee did a video, I think it was back in October, where she did um, like paint swatches. Um, kind of all in the same kind of color type family with like a contrast with like so, some gold or metallics or whatever in it and then she collaged over in like those colors she did like a strip of it I don't know it's fantastic I want to do that these look to be the same so the re not the entire reason that I got these wasn't because of that video but that's what I had in mind finding things with you know kind of a monochromatic color tone just so that it would be a little bit easier to mix and match that kind of thing oh that's it for this part of my desk let me get this cleared off and I will grab the next batch okay we are in the home stretch of the paper goods sticker goods that kind of thing before we can move on to the next category um these it looks like it's just one sheet and we've got all sorts of labels i like it let's see if i can get this in here real quick we've got blue which i mean they are different from the other ones, but essentially the same thing. And then red, and then this brownish, whatever, yellow, vintage, excuse me, it's a vintage color. Then I got these, and I think that I might have... Well, no. I guess I thought I just bought the same thing over and over, but they do appear to be different. I'm just going to open one and then I'll show what the others look like. Oh, there are multiple sheets in here. Let's see. Oh, two. That looks like they're matte. It's a washi type sticker. So, oh, no, I'm messed up there, okay. We've got our kind of green tones. We've got our yellow flowers. We've got... more flowers more in a pink tone here we've got our blue and purplish color kind of tealish green flowers and butterflies more flowers and butterflies Hope this isn't making me motion sick how I'm moving this. Then we've just got some painting stamps, stickers, whatever. I like that they're already, they're uh, like pre-cut so that I don't have to get out of scissors and do that myself. I like that. And then we've got some birds. Then, I've got these little books, I don't remember. Oh, it's just paper. I love that, that is beautiful. Here we 
we've got flowers. And more flowers. Well, those are lovely. I love those. I feel like these are probably over $2, but who knows, because not a lot was that I bought. There's a lot of paper in there. I like it. Then we have these little word books. I saw these advertised on there a lot, but then when you'd go in, there'd be like one of them available. Like only like one of the entire set that they had. So I don't really know. I guess I got E on this one. Embrace, envelope, extend, foreign. Wait a minute. Fraction foreign, fortunate, and then we go back to the E's. Uh-oh, some F's got mixed in my E's. Let's see. Oh, on the front it says E to F. I just need to learn to read is what I need to do. Maybe I can do some practicing with my dictionary library <laughs> series <laughs> papers now. That's kind of cool. I wanted to get, I was watching a video the other day and the person was talking, it might have been Joey DeFee again. I think it actually was the same video. She was talking about, um, you know, when you're decorating your strip, you know, you can get like a children's dictionary or something like that because they've got the bigger font and, you know, it looks nice, just kind of, you know, tucked in. On, along the side. If you watch the video or you've seen the video, it'll make much more sense of what I'm making it sound like. But, um, so that's why I got these because I thought it would be a good option. I can't really find a children's dictionary. Um, I looked on like thrift, it's like a thrift store for books online. And I, they have some, but I want to see what it looks like on the inside. And I couldn't find that, so I went with these instead. Um, lastly, for the paper stuff, I think, um, probably the misfortunate thing, the only misfortunate thing I've come across so far, is this. When I got this out of the thing, I'm like, okay, where's the rest of the cards? So I pull this out, that's just the backing. I'm like, I don't know where these cards were. It was, it came open. It's obviously been open because that little sticky tack is dirty and not just for me doing that just then. I found these in there and I thought they were supposed to be, it's like a paint swatch, but at the bottom it has, you know, a little saying. Um, so I thought maybe these were it, but I don't think these are it. I looked through my orders and like, there's supposed to be a hundred of these hundred pieces and in each of these, there's like 60. Um, I counted one of them. Um, so I don't think this is what was supposed to be in there. So I think this is, it's, these two things are their own things. And this, I just got the short end of the stick. I looked on the app to see if there's a way to contact the seller and be like, hey, I got an empty package. Obviously, something went awry somewhere along the way, um, but I don't see where you can contact the seller, and I look to see, like, you can do a return. I think it's Timu. Timu? I don't know how to say it. Anyways, there's a way that you can do, like, a return, but what am I going to return? An empty package? I don't know. I know, like, on Wish back in the day when I would buy stuff on there if you didn't get something or whatever happened, they would refund you, but I don't know. I'm not even entirely sure what this was because what I bought looked more like this, but this isn't it because it was paint swatches. These aren't paint swatches. So I think I found which one this was supposed to be, but 
I feel bad complaining because I can't 100% say yes. This thing is what I didn't end up getting. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's that thing of where I just feel like I shouldn't complain because I got so much. And if what I did think it is, um, what was on the app under my purchases, it was like $1.78. While I was looking for the... Uh, to see if I could message the, the seller. Um, I did find a thing where you can, I forget what the tab was called, but you can actually go in and if anything is a lower price than what you bought, you can request a refund for the difference. So I feel like I probably got a couple dollars back, which was enough to cover this. I just kind of want the thing because I mean, it's cute, but it is what it is. Um, live and let it go, right? Okay, now moving on to the more interesting stuff, in my opinion. I got some washi. I'm already not entirely... I like washi that's not... It doesn't look like it's plastic, but I can't tell if this is... What it's going to look like. I don't like the shiny plastic. I like the matte is what I'm trying to say. I don't think I'm articulating it very well. So does this have something that peels off the back or what? Let me fiddle with this for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so it is washy. Um, it does pull apart. It's shiny. It's fine. I'll get over it. I really like the print on it. Definitely will get used. However, not quite what I was anticipating. That's okay. It's also possible that I just didn't look at the description very well. I am like frantically <laughs> trying to get into these. <sighs> Calm down, everything's fine. This one looks a little more flowery, very pretty. You can get a pretty long stretch without getting repeated images too, so that's nice. Scooch this up. I've got... Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I've got, this is kind of where I feel a little bit weird. I, I don't know if these ever have belonged to another creator or not. So if they have, you know, feel free to let me know down below so that others know don't buy this because this is part of so-and-so's set or, you know, um, I don't remember seeing this under any of the creators that I'm familiar with, but like I said, I don't know all of the different sets that everybody has to offer so you know do with this as you will um i kind of like these kind of like for a tag also i don't know i feel like i might also have something like that i got this leaf set which i really love you've got kind of a bubbly situation I thought these would be good, like uh, like a faceplate, nameplate type thing, like on the front of a journal. 
And then this is some kind of pop-up thing. I don't exactly know. I kind of got it for like this. I'm going to try it though because the, the picture on the, excuse me, I keep hiccuping on the site looks looked really cool so I want to try and use it as it's intended but um it's like a little pop-up strip thingy next I have got some stamps again this is kind of where I'm like I don't recognize these as being from anybody's set um so if it is please feel free to leave it down below I fully believe that you should be supporting creators above getting things for cheap. Oh, I guess it's dark on the other side. I could have just showed you all that. I did, like, I, I kind of put in some people's names to see if anything came up. And while nothing came up, there's, um, there's one company for sure that I know somebody is selling their their stuff because I mean it's a very distinct eye and I've almost purchased this eye from the company multiple times or from the person that sells for this company on Etsy um I don't even really want to say the name because I don't I don't know it's really questionable and I don't want people to go buy it because I'm like don't go buy this and then people go, yeah, I mean I don't know I don't I don't want to promote buying things that were taken from an artist I guess is what I'm trying to say um but these I don't remember seeing them anywhere before so I feel okay but please again let me know down below if there's something that you recognize from somebody else's set I love bubbles I love this this was for a planner I like this can you is it focused I like the, the letters and then how it's written out next to it. You got your little time stamps. I thought that was really cool. This one, I feel... I don't... I don't want to say the name. But also, this reminds me of a certain creator. I did not find it in their collection. So, you know, ugh, it feels icky if, you know, you know, you know, um, these, I just like the little tags. I've been making my own labels lately, so it'd be nice to have some different outlines to stamp with. Um, next some more stamps these are like different types of just like privacy stamps I was wondered if these were self inking it might be let me see if I've got here we go ooh I just shook you I'm so sorry that's pretty cool. And then this is just a date stamp. Self-explanatory. And these I think are also confidential stamps, but I don't remember what they what image they put down. Privacy confidential. I like that. That one's just like a bigger one of that. Cool. I like it. Make it, it would make a good kind of backdrop to the thing. 
Okay, let me clean this up for just a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, now this is the stuff I'm super excited about. These, um... I wasn't sure exactly if this was going to be a pen or what, but I need a needle minder for, like, you know, um, embroidery, that kind of thing. This is the pen, but I wonder if, if I could cut the stem of this off. Sorry, my dog's in here. She just rolled over. I wonder if I could cut the stem of this off and replace it with a magnet. That way, like glue the magnet onto there and then... Or I guess I wouldn't want to glue the magnet. I would want to put this on top of the fabric, the magnet underneath it, and then the needle would stick to it. I don't know. Needle binders are really expensive and I'm having a hard time committing. So I feel like maybe I can try and make my own with my little murder cat. Um, I got two of these actually. I think they... I've been seeing ads for these everywhere. They're little, um, they've got like a little blade and it's pretty sharp. That's pretty cool. And the needle goes back in, which is great. I got a yellow and I got this pretty sage green. Then I got little mini playing cards. This doesn't really have anything to do with junk journaling or collaging or whatever but my first like passion was dollhouse miniatures so anytime I see something tiny like this that I can't make I can't because it just it makes my heart so happy to see <laughs> so I got two little sets of playing cards these are just some magnets hooks to go on the um file cabinet next to me so I can hang more junk here I have got some, this is for sewing. I'm not a sewer. I don't, I have a sewing machine. And for those of you who don't know, who haven't watched my other videos, I recently lost my craft room because of some water damage. Um, so everything had to be taken out. And when I put it back in, I set it up so that I've got a station where I can set up my sewing machine. Um, so I would mainly be sewing paper, not fabric. So I thought this might kind of help hold the paper together as you're, because sometimes when you're making folds, it's not a very crisp fold. So maybe this would help hold it down. I don't know. I thought it was kind of an interesting idea I went, might like to try. Then I got, I've also been seeing these all over Facebook and Instagram ads. Just these little pins that, paper clips that, clip onto the side of things and then you can this probably isn't a good thing to be doing it on then you can take your pin and slip it in so you've got a pin to hold her on your journal which I thought was pretty cool and then I got these little miniature box cutters Oh, that feels dangerous. Because um, sometimes you need something a little sharper than the scissors that I usually use. But also, I don't feel fantastic with that popping like that. But it's fine. Um, and I've got one more batch of things. And I'll be right back. Okay, my trash bag next to me is about full. So it's a good thing this is the last bundle that I've got here. But it's not my actual trash can. Does anybody else have two trash cans? One for actual trash that's going into the garbage and another of trash that needs to be looked through again before it can be trashed because maybe when you look at it again, it won't be trash anymore. Or is that just a new thing? They have these prints on canvas and I was anxious to see if they look as nice in person as they did on the thing. And look at that. That is beautiful. I 
I love this. We've got our butterflies. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. We've got more flowers. More butterflies, and they are different than the last butterflies. And more butterflies. And it does feel like canvas. I don't know if that's what it is or not, but it feels like it. The only thing about these is there is a smell to them. They're probably going to have to air out for a few days. But I wanted something new and different on my walls than what I had before. These will be a beautiful addition. Let's see what our next set is. I like that it came that wrapped around this little tube so that it didn't like collapse the print and leave a crease in it. That's really nice. I like that packaging. Okay, well, need my scissors again. drop the other little pipe thing for that's holding them stable oh look at that you can definitely tell it's kind of like a blown up image because it looks a little blurry but that's okay I don't mind Love those. And our last one. They really package this well. Ouch. to lay under some books for a while. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I don't even know what to call that. It's kind of like a dissected diagram. I'm sure there's a name for it, and hopefully someone will tell me what that is. Oh, a dandelion. Love it. These are shiny, which isn't a big deal. But sometimes shiny on a wall makes it hard to see. But sometimes not. I'll just try it out and see what it looks like. I love that. Those are beautiful. And they are like four, five, six bucks. I mean, it's a ridiculously low price. I'm super happy with the quality of these. Even if it's shiny, who cares? I love it. So with the exception of the one package that came empty, all of these... I've loved everything. Hopefully, the only thing I'm a little mm, on is that that one stamp set with the bingo on it. I don't know. I don't... I didn't find anything, but like I said, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist elsewhere. And I don't ever want to promote taking an artist's work. It was a little disappointing. Sorry, I'm thinking and trying to do something at the and talk at the same time um there was one for one artist for sure that at least the stamps from the person that i buy from they were in they were on the site and i won't buy them because i mean i don't know i, I don't like it 
but to each their own. Um, if anybody has any thoughts or would like to see anything again, please just let me know down below. I'm happy to, to show and share whatever you need. Um, if you have any questions, also let me know. I'll let you know if I decide to go through with emailing them about that one package that came empty probably I'll chicken out but <laughs> we'll see if you guys have stuck with me through the end I appreciate it we will talk to you later if you could like and subscribe that would be fantastic hope you have a great weekend bye